we are dispatched on the first alarm of a two alarm fire in a uh, massive blaze in the Bywater neighborhood. Hey, so what's going on down there? Point out responder. Right over there. Yep, there you go. Point out on the scene. When we arrive, the house is fully involved in flames. I see a woman screaming. So at first you wonder if, you know, there's people in there. We're just going to pull it. We're just going to, we're not going to, don't charge it. I got it, go. Engine driver and a plug, go ahead and charge that line. Line is charged. When the building is fully involved, it's important to quickly get on the exposures, the neighboring building. You could quickly go from fighting a, a single house fire to fighting a five house fire. Hey, hey, pipe hole over here. Let's check this room so we can get a primary done. After we know everyone's safe and evacuated, 29 in command. We're going to primary search and no one's in the building. We can start to aggressively fight the fire. Get our ass in there and let's put it out. We can't get to it. Bring that out. Hey, you ought to not go any further forward. Huh? You're not in there anymore. Okay. Don't go any further. It's hot as in here, dude. Yeah, it's hot as in here. Even with two alarms, it's it's not enough men to put this fire out quickly enough. So Chief struck a third and fourth alarm. Come on. Back out. Back out. When a second alarm is struck, every single firehouse in the city of New Orleans can hear what's going on. And you could tell the fire was pretty intense call comes out to us, we actually were dispatched on the fourth alarm. 16 right here, Chief. When we arrived on the scene, the fire was knocked down at this point, but we still had a lot of hot spots burning. Look up in that corner. You see how it's smoldering right there? We were immediately needed to go into the main fire building on the second floor to make sure that all of it's extinguished. I got a lot of fire up here. Look at the fire over there. In that peak. Ain't gonna make it. I got a clear shot. I need three feet. Three feet, find it. Our lines are gonna reach. We're gonna pull it around the car. Trying to get a couple more feet out of it. Tell them we got it. I got it now, buddy. We had a tough time finding all the hot spots up there. Everything was collapsed on top of itself. I mean, it looks like like a bomb went off in the house. Feel like the roof collapsed on it. Dude, that peak's being held by one boy. Could you feel this whole place shaking? Every now and then, you feel it shake or something would move, and you know, you're like, man, uh, I don't know if this is good. Sound the floor, Dick. Watch the floors moving. It looks like the fire originated in the garage. There's a bunch of artists that ran apartments in the house, and they had a studio set up in the garage, and they were doing some work, and somebody forgot something on. Look, in that back corner, they can get to that? That's what you got to get. Division 2, we got it. We all clear. All clear. That's it, the fire's officially out. Vic, that ladder truck can hit you perfectly. It's a good feeling, you know? We got great firemen in the city of New Orleans, and uh, Engine 29 did a tremendous job saving these other houses. Let's be ready. Large fire that's right behind the fire station. I'm gonna roll that way. Looks like it just started. Oh, so? uh, yeah, you can see, you can see the flames in there. Yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, it's gonna be a Galvez and Frenchman. 427 is on the scene of a wood frame dwelling. Let's hump it, let's hump it. Squire 7 captain, Squire 7 operator. Could you give him about 10 more pounds of water? We get a call for the structural fire and it's next door to another home. Our main objective is to save life, save property. Time is of the essence. You know, we're moving quick. AP, up the pressure a little bit. You're going to have to saturate that bad boy. My role as a sprint medic is to just support firefighters in case one of them go down, and or if they bring anybody out of fire, we can immediately start providing ALS care to them. Might have, might have bodies in there, bro. 27 is making entry through the front door. You know anybody that stays up in there? 
It looks like somebody might have been living in or squatted. Oh, that's empty right there. Huh? The whole thing is empty. That right there, and over there is empty. It's all empty. What's the status up there? We have reports that there may have been squatters living up there. What's the status? Over? Right now, New Orleans has a lot of uh, transient people that are occupying abandoned property, abandoned homes, and, you know, to try to cut some of the, the coldness down. So they may start a fire inside of a, an abandoned house. Do you copy? Over. The firemen are coming out now. It's clear back there. It's good. We're good. Being in charge, you know, you're in charge of your company. You know, that's that's the guys that ride with you. You just got to be prepared, be careful, you know, be careful because of your men, because you have to make sure that they leave the way they came. They get back home. Well, luckily, nobody was up nobody in there. No, nobody, nobody was in there, as far as we know. They don't get hurt. No, I hope not either. That's why I'm here, though. All right, baby, have a good night. I mean, even in New Orleans, that's a little odd. <laughs> and even on Halloween night, I'm not fooling with no banana. <laughs> oh, we're going to be all over that, brother. Tampa Fire Rescue is set up a little bit differently than some other communities where EMS and the fire department are actually two separate beings. Rescue four copies. Our EMS and fire department are actually the same person. We're all cross-trained. We're paramedics and firefighters. Oh, that bitch is burning. Oh, yeah, it's cooking, kid. Oh, this mother fricker is going to catch the other one on fire, too. Yeah, come on, get dressed. Let's do it. We see the front of this place fully involved, and we have a report that there may be someone inside. Can we have anybody from the inside? I haven't heard anything. Okay. We'll get an ass in there and let's put it out. The worst part about a trailer fire is the fact that it's a tin can that burns rapidly. The heat is very intense. Woo, that's hot. My skin's burning through my gear. And then give me the hose. If someone's in here, it's probable they're not going to make it. Look, we're going to check right here. Just watch our f***ing So, what? Just see if you hear anybody. Yeah! Yeah! Just look right here. Make sure we get up in here. Oh, this room right here, I got sick. Yeah! What? What? Billy, get in here with your life. Thank you. All right. Rescue forward to command. Kind of primary and secondary with nothing found. We got fire in the region. Every fire has its challenges. This fire was intensely hot. Here it comes. Engine four finally had to come up and supply a foam. It basically helps cover, smother, put it out. Dude, I can't even take my helmet off. It's so freaking hot. That was probably the hottest fire I've ever been in. The owners are over here. They, they say nobody else is in there. Oh. Uh, uh, first thing I saw was that window orange. I jumped out the car, tried to catch my husband. Uh, Benny said he was asleep, ran, tried to open the door, and there we go. Did they call Red Cross or anything for y'all? Okay. They'll set you up with something and then get you a place to stay and start working on getting you some clothes. My Bible was saved. That's the first thing I asked for is my Bible. Where's your Bible at? On the table. Okay, show me where that is. You need to hold on to me, you're all right. Yeah. Come to find out she started a new church. And she's got all of her preachings in this Bible. There it is. There it is. You got it? Yeah. That's what's left of it, but it's better than nothing. Which, Which page is it up over to? For I know the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. There you go. We'll get you another one. Yeah, we'll get you a new Bible. How about that? You want Bible? 
<laughs> you gonna invite me to your church when you open it? All right. For Stokes and I, the biggest reason we've got into this job is to help someone who's having their worst day. We couldn't save her house. The biggest thing we can do is give her her most prized possession, which is her Bible. Y'all be good, okay? All right, boys, let's go home. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grant the knob, grant the knob. They're not dead. I can work with them.